Dr. Mac turned 80 years old this past summer, so we threw him a big party. Here I am loading up some party equipment. Yeah, got a smoker, a bunch of beer, jockey box, keg of IPA, keg of yingling lager, Dr. Mac's favorite beer, and a good old fashioned Sugar Grove traffic jam. Did a bunch of pork spare ribs. Here we are prepping them the night before. And then morning of 445, heading down, starting the fire down at the river house. A beautiful foggy morning on the mighty Allegheny River. This happened to be one of the mornings where the escaped convict who got loose from the Warren jail was in this area actually. So we were a little concerned about that. Uh, neighbor Dave stops by to uh, talk to me here in a minute and he's like good thing you're here Nat so you could run that guy off if he if he comes by now uh, here I am putting the brisket on here's neighbor Dave yeah, yeah, just hanging out by the smoker uh, by the raspberry patch here by the chicken coop down at the river house uh, cooking for about 50 to 60 people. Here he is, the birthday boy himself, Dr. Mac, on his 80th birthday, out <laughs> to take his daily hot tub with coffee and some sort of baked confection, typically. Here we go, gonna get some ribs on. I, I bought this Traeger rib, rib rack thing. And it worked okay. You know, I could have trimmed the spare ribs a little more. They barely fit in there, but it worked. I, I maxed it out, but the ribs turned out pretty good, I think. And there would have been obviously no way to cook this much meat on this Meadow Creek TS-70P smoker uh, if I didn't have this rack for the ribs. Obviously, all these obviously. ribs would have taken up obviously. all the rack of ribs. space rack. in the smoker so I wouldn't have been able to do the brisket and the ribs and we also threw some chickens on I don't think I have any need of that towards the end but obviously this kind obviously. of stand up rack obviously. is is the way to do it so you know worked out pretty good I would recommend Five it five stars as the morning wore on it got pretty hot it was real humid and here's a look at Dr. Max Garage where we put out the food and his collection of transistor radio cassette players perpetually set to the local pop country station so pretty good place to set out some food he's got a pretty epic garage with a wood burning stove in it and here's a look at the ribs a couple hours in now uh looking pretty good about to take the brisket out and wrap it i am terrible at wrapping briskets i'm gonna edit this so it looks like i'm really good at it but I'm not. Not very good at wrapping. Neighbor Dave hung out for most of the morning and he was a huge help as moral support, but also to help me wrap all these racks of ribs that we had to wrap. So here we put a little sauce, a little sauce on the ribs, start wrapping them up and I'm gonna reach over across the table and he's like, let me get that for you. I'm like, damn it. Neighbor Dave, you're a huge help. So we're gonna stack these racks of ribs up, a little more sauce. We're gonna go through and do all eight or nine or ten or however many we had. And about this time, people start showing up to the party. This is Winston the Corgi hanging out by the meat. There's Sebastian, his mom, Ashley, picking some raspberries. Got quite a few raspberries in his little raspberry bucket it there. Tristan and Travis and Pete. Pete the dog, that's John the human, talking about how hot it is. Uh, I was asking everybody to make cool faces here, so that was a pretty good one. There's the jockey box set up. Jim with the nice cool face. Petey doing the splute walk. Here comes a nice shot of Uncle Willie in the raspberry patch. Just picking some raspberries for himself. 
and it looks like the brisket's coming off and I'm venting it. And here's Charlie the Dingo Man in his auto dry feature after a little swim in the river. And those racks of ribs looking so good unwrapped. Put a little sauce on them, trying to tack it up a little bit. Brisket's in there, rested for an hour, pulling it out, gonna start slicing. Yeah, drizzle some of that good juice on it. Slice, slice, slice. The flat was a little dry. Flats are always a little dry. Half and half. This was a prime brisket from Sam's Club, so usually they turn out pretty good, but you know, this sort of money cut right there is looking pretty good. Oh, look at that smoke ring, yeah. Cutting off some burnt ends here for the people standing around the table. Just a little snick snack for them. And then I'm gonna slice the point into entirely two large slices. But man, it was juicy. I forgot to squeeze the juice out of it. But you get the idea, it was delicious. Hopefully people shared their big slices of the point. Hopefully people will share a big fatty piece. And slicing up all them ribs. Turned out pretty good. Had a big old pretty good. Pan of ribs. And here's the whole spread. Look at this. There's some of that pulled pork and shredded chicken. We also did the brisket ribs. There's some whole what chicken. What are you doing? Throwing. That's my mom. Phil's done. And there's my plate. Really the only photo I got us some finished food, unfortunately. I didn't really get any good footage of the party either, but this is Mac's cousin Don, who flew F-4s in Vietnam. Uh, he and my dad talked a little bit. My dad was a naval aviator too, flew P-3s. That's my mom petting Don's dog. And that's the end of the video.